Good Friday morning, everybody. And for those of you who like to say it, thank God it's Friday. Thank God it's any day these days. I tell you what, we give thanks and praise for every day that we can uh, get up in the morning, in the afternoon, or whatever time of the day and say, thank you, Lord. Uh, and we do thank God. We are grateful. We are grateful that God has spared us yet another day, y'all. And not only spared us, but uh, like when I used to hear my grandma say, thank you, Lord, that I'm in my, you know, fully clothed and in my right mind. That means, God, I thank you for supplying food, clothes, and shelter. So, certainly we do. Absolutely we do. I'm getting my, I guess I got something on that. Still it was on the burner. But anyway, I'm just going to use it very briefly this morning. Very short and sweet. We're in the festive uh season y'all we're getting this thing going next week we got less than a week because today is friday we have less than one week before thanksgiving i am going to prepare me a nice little brunch breakfast or whatever you want to call it here just something nice and light this is the kind of stuff i like to eat and snack on again my greek uh pita bread flats so i got my skillet on down here and what i always like to do is to get my um Pita bread going. I don't know what this is. It keeps smoking. Something is I might have to. Hang on, let me do something right quick, y'all. Now, it's all I want is. It's, not, it's something on this burner. It's probably Creso. You know, you all know what Creso is. Creso is that little burn on. Over time, it's just grease that gets burned on to a particular uh, pan. And, um, People that use certain type of pans, they like the Creso. It's that little burn up stuff, and you can see it real good on the grill. And it's good sometimes because it helps to, um, it just almost seasons the pan, but I don't want it smoking up my kitchen. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and put my, my um, bread in and let it start. Now, that's, that's smoking from it on. <laughs> that's the pan inside, y'all, I hope. But anywho, I'm just gonna go ahead and just, I just merely want to heat this bread, so I'm telling, talking to the pan now. Pan, don't get excited. I just merely want to heat my bread up. And it's still a little bit of hot food out of the oven and hot smoking so much. But anyhow, we're gonna heat this bread up, this pea bread up, with the butter. Let's see. Can you even see it? No, good. I'm glad you can see all that commotion. But anyway, I'm just heating up my pita bread with some uh, smart start on it right there. Just gonna let it get heated up really, really good with the butter. I made some egg salad. I love egg salad real much. So the other day I made me some egg salad because I had a case of egg salad. Something we ate often as children because it was very inexpensive uh, and it was very good. You know, a lot of the inexpensive things are some of the best things you can put in your mouth at times. Everything you eat doesn't have to cost all this money. So we love the egg salad. Mom showed me, of course, how to make egg salad, and I've been doing it ever since. Um, just some mayo, some pickles, and um, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit of black pepper. And if you have some dry mustard, put it on in there. It tastes real good with dry mustard. So I'm just going to flip this over one more time just to make sure it heats all the way through. And on uh, what I want to do with it, I'm going to spread my um, egg salad on top. And then I'm going to top it with some, um, I've already cut and seasoned my avocado and some salsa. And then we're going to have a, uh, some hot tea and then I have something, a uh, whole glass of water or some watered down tea. I like to do watered down tea also. So I think my bread... It's about ready. So yeah, it's ready. So what we're gonna do, sort of switch over here a little bit, get my camera going in this direction. And there's my nice little harvest gold plate. Pier one, 15 years ago, I bought a whole set of this. So I'm trying to figure out what colors I'm gonna use uh, as I start to set out my dishes for the holidays and stuff like that. I may set a table. You know, set tables are so pretty. Uh, but we, my family prefer, we prefer to use uh, night, those nice heavyweight 
uh, paper plates because that way you don't have so many dishes washing. We be in and out eating so many times that it's, uh, it's sort of sensible to do. And it sort of keeps down, you know, the wear and tear and the work on whoever's doing the cleaning. So what I'm doing here is flip up my egg salad. I say, I think I did eight eggs. So I'm going to do a couple tablespoons of egg salad on there. For me, that's about enough. Yeah, spread it out like so. And we're going to make us, it's almost like uh, in the shape of a, uh, a pizza. So we can call this our brunch egg salad pizza. Yeah, yeah. You know I got a name for stuff. Everything I have to have a name for it. Um, and because I enjoy food like this, I try to think of different ways to prepare it. And I, for one thing with me uh, for using the avocados, I bought these avocados almost a week ago. And you know, you can't, well, I can't, let's put it like that. After a week, and sometimes before that week is up, that avocado is ready to go south on you. And you have to go ahead and use it. So I caught these just in time. Um, it had just a little spot on there that I noticed, but I cut it right off. Y'all know me, I'm not wasting any food if I don't have to. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to take my avocado and I'm going to go around and just put it on just like this, like so, okay? In no special order, just get it on there. And I think I'm going to do half now, and I'll do the other half later. I don't feel like I want to eat the whole thing right now, okay? So this is how we're going to do the avocado, because, um, Okay. Mm. How about this package of real bacon bits? They're reduced sodium, so they're not all bad. So what I'm going to take is about a, a tablespoon of bacon bits and just put it in. So it'll be like I'm eating bacon and eggs with avocado, y'all. So I don't eat, I don't do a lot of regular bacon. I know y'all know when I've, I've shown y'all bacon on here, it's been um, turkey bacon. But these little bacon bits, a tablespoonful, I dare say it's one strip of bacon. So, and I, I don't have a real sodium problem or anything like that. It's just that I try to watch my sodium intake, you know, because of the heart situation. So, there's my little um, mm, I, I drew, look, have you ever just drawn such, I just drew a blank, honey. That was a big old blank. I just drew a blank, y'all, and forgot what I was getting ready to say almost. <laughs> My egg salad. I was getting ready to say egg salad. I think I need me one more piece of avocado. I see a little bare spot. Take that little one and stick it like right there. Slide that one. Okay. There we go. So anyway... Since I would normally I would put some tomatoes on there, but since I want to use my salsa, I'm just gonna stick my salsa right there, like I always do, right at the top of my plate. And I'll I'm gonna cut of course I'll cut it and eat it and I'll dip my salsa uh dip it onto my salsa onto that. Well I can go ahead and cut it now because y'all know I like a cut sandwich. If I got pizza or a sandwich or whatever, I always cut it. I'll stick my finger right there because I like to eat it. I like, like I have four slices of pizza, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut it in four slices. And uh, when I sit down to the table, all I have to do is spoon me some salsa on there. I know, y'all. And this pita bread does not need to be heated up a whole lot. That's what happens. It sort of gets um, mm, crispy on the other side is what happens to it. So we're going to stick our salsa back there. When I sit down, I'm going to talk to you about a couple of things. So hold on, I'll be right back. Making Meals has a gospel album. I played at least once a week, and that album came out, I want to say, in 1998. Wow, so we okay, everybody, there's my breakfast, brunch, however. I've got it ready to sit down, relax, and enjoy. Of course, you know, I told you I have this is some toasted uh butter toasted pita bread with um egg salad spread on top and then topped with um some avocado and bacon bits 
That's my homemade salsa right there. I keep that in the fridge all the time. And some nice sliced Bosque pears and something nice and cold to drink. And off to the side, I've got me, um, I'll have my pomegranate tea as well. Let's put my tea right there. Got my pomegranate tea brewing right there on the side. So listen, guys, thank you so much for uh, stopping by and uh, listening to me as I talk about my little things during my day. Now, the main reason for coming on today is to remind you now, we got one week. No, we got uh, six days before Thanksgiving. So we need to to ramp it up. If we haven't gotten our turkey, if we haven't gotten all our sides, we haven't planned our menu, today would be a good day to mobilize and get it done. And even for me, I have not decorated one thing, and I usually have everything decorated. Someone's going to come help me clean uh, tomorrow. So once I get that done, get my windows cleaned up, I'm going to start putting my wreaths up. So hopefully I have a little bit of decorations up for the for the. Um, Thanksgiving holiday, because I by this time, honey, my whole house is oozing with uh, decorations. So for now, I'm in here. You'll see my empty palette. I've moved some things around. I've uh, so this is the main area that I'm going to be decorating on this. So when y'all see this area again, it will be fully decorated, y'all. Fully decorated all the way through. I'm just going to give y'all a sneak peek of what I got going on. Y'all excuse any clutter. I'm working on fixing my cabinet doors. Um, this is just stuff. That's a little game sitting there. When y'all see this area again in this manner, everything hopefully will be decorated. I might even have the decorations up for Sunday dinner. But right now I'm sort of working on uh, how I'm going to do because I'm not going to put up as many decorations as I normally do because y'all know in the past, honey, I go from the top to the bottom all the way through. So I'm going to do mainly this area, the kitchen, and down there. Y'all can see down in the den. There's no decorations up down there yet. But when I come back again, hopefully I will have whatever I'm going to do inside and out done. So now we're going to talk just a itty bitty bit about the holiday season and shopping and all that good stuff. So let me get my camera set up down here on this end. There we are. I think that'll work right there. <clears throat> so I'm going to walk back down here and get myself seated. And I hope um, that you all can hear me well enough. And y'all know me eating and talking is just not one of the things that I like to do anyway. So uh, I have to have my camera at least back here in order for y'all to see me. Okay. So. Oh, by the way, I just had my chairs in there posted. If you remember, they were plenty full before. So. Okay, so here we go. We're going to sit right here. I'm going to eat my egg salad and whatnot. Yeah. Okay, so I'm seated. Trim just had to the mail. So, you know what? If, if these people would send me the postage that they spend on sending me all this junk mail, I think I'd be a rich woman, honey. At least anywhere from three to ten pieces per day. So by the end of the week, I have at least 20 pieces of mail. And I'm sure you do too. I'm not the only one. So let me go ahead and get this out of the way. This is going to be short and sweet. Um, before, let me just go ahead and bless my food. So if I start to pinch off every while I'm talking, uh, God's blessing will already be on. So, Father, we thank you for this day. This is the day, Lord, that you have made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, I thank you for another day. I thank you for another holiday season. I thank you for the ability to have gotten up this morning and be on this video and get me something to eat going. I thank you, Lord, that you gave us another Thanksgiving and that you've given us another Christmas holiday and a New Year soon to come. So, Lord, we just thank you now in the name of Jesus, and we ask that you bless our food as we're about to receive it for the nourishment of our bodies, Lord. I would ask, Lord, that you would bless the widows, the orphans, the children, the sick, the shut-in, the homeless, that they won't have to beg bread, but they can sit down to a plate of food such as this. So, Lord, I send these blessings abroad to all of your people during this season. And, Lord, I endeavor to help to motivate, Lord, 
to encourage those who feel downtrodden because they miss a loved one or because they don't have what they think they should have. So, Lord, we ask that your spirit will intervene and give us that feeling of jubilation, that feeling of celebration, because after all, this time frame, as we've told, said before, this is a time that we give thanks for that which you have done for us and what you're going to do. And of course, Lord God, we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the one who came here and saved us, not because of, but in spite of. So Lord, we thank you and we praise you for this day. We will celebrate it. This is a beautiful, wonderful, sunshiny day. And I thank you, Lord, and I praise you. Amen. So now I can go ahead. So if I nibble a little bit, I've already said a blessing over my food. But what I just came on to say, like I said, and to pray that prayer because it was on my heart. Um, but to say, please mobilize and get yourself motivated. Encourage yourself to do something. We're living in some perilous times and it seems like every day, every time we turn on the TV, every time we hear a news report, every time somebody calls us on the phone, we had a, a shooting in my neighborhood not too far from here. Um, and it was devastating. It was devastating. This is a very, I live in a very small town, but you know what? We're not immune or I, we're not far enough out of reach for tragedy to strike for these shootings, these drive-by shootings, these people getting angry at each other. Just look at the, on the airways, these trials that are going on where people could not settle a situation they took to violence. And this violence is running rampant. And I'm coming on here this morning in addition to asking you to get in the uh, celebratory holiday spirit, to ask you to join hands in the spirit to begin to pray um, for the families who have to endure this um, violence. When they get that phone call, when I got that phone call the other day, those people were somebody that were close to me. It hurt me. It hurt me if it had happened in my own front yard. So I am sending up a prayer now that in the name of Jesus that uh, calmer minds and, and, and that we will start to practice what Jesus asked us to do, to love one another as he loves us. So I think, you know, we say we love people, and I do it all the time. I say it all the time. And it used to be, you know, years back, people say, well, you always say you love people. I do. I love people according to what God asked us to do. And I've pretty much been that way all of my life that I can remember. I, I have no problem with saying I love you. Now, if there's somebody that you cannot say it directly to, there's ways, you know, you can show it. But you don't have to be offensive or, you know, all that kind of stuff in order to allow a person to know that you care enough about them. But I'm just saying all that to say this. Please, please give thought to what you say and do. When it comes to treat people right, and you don't have to worry about too much. If, if everybody did that, man, everybody have to be on board to treat people right, and we don't have to worry about all this conflict and this violence and these shootings and cussing and fussing and fighting and all that kind of carrying on. So I'm just asking all those of you that would to pray that down. I don't know if you have it going on in your household in your neighborhood, in your city, in your state, in your nation, in your mind, wherever it's going on, we pray right now in the name of Jesus that God will give us a peace that passes all understanding and to cleanse us from the inside to the out, Lord, and fill us back with the love that you would have us to love one another with, God. We just thank you and we praise you, and we pray that during this holiday season that we can restore some joy, that we can restore so some of that good food, we can restore some of those things that you would have us to do as your children. So, Lord, we thank you and we praise you, Lord, um, for this food again. And we thank you and we praise you for life and for health and for food on the table. <clears throat> Excuse me, and a, a roof over our heads, Lord. We pray for our children in the schools, Lord God, that they will be uh, guided and protected. And Lord, all these children who are coming up with the, with the uh, these this depression and this body shaming and all this social media, this negative. I love social media, Lord, but the negative social media, Lord, we pray that you would 
uh, wave your hand and hold it back, Lord, on behalf of our children. And I pray for you, for my own family, oh God. We pray for the healing for family members who are sick in the mind, heart, and spirit, oh God. We pray right now in your son Jesus' name that things will be better in the days to come. We, we anticipate. We claim better times. We anticipate. We look to the hills, O oh God, and we lift up holy hands to you, O oh God, and ask that you would heal our land. You said, Lord, in your word, if my people who are called by my name will turn from their wicked ways, just turn from some of that stuff. Bow the knee, submit, and God will take over and do the rest for us. So, Lord, we ask these and other blessings in your son Jesus' name. Amen. And again, don't forget to, you know, start looking around, seeing what you want to decorate your house. Just move something around, put a few things. I brought these dishes normally sit over there in my china cabinet until, you know, because the kids, they don't, when mom put that stuff up, you take all that stuff up, you got to clean it up. So this time of the year, I love to sit these things. Like this, some of this stuff is 20, 30 years old, but the point is, I purchased it because it was pretty to my eyes and I like to see it. So these things make me happy. So I want to share this with you. Um, I'm going to, I probably will set a nice Christmas table. So whatever you do, start finding some things that you can um, pull out of that cabinet, out of that closet, unbox. And you know what? The reason I'm pulling it out now because mine will be up until after New Year. So I'll have plenty of time to enjoy. Mmm. That good old hot cup of tea, y'all. So anyway, I'm going to get started eating my food. I am going to um, get out of here and go do some crisp, some uh, food shopping. Mm. That's good. It's smelling good to me, y'all. And I'm going to get out of here shortly so that I can get some things done. And mm, that's good. Excuse me. When I start my decorating, I'm going to tune back in to let y'all see how I transform. I've been doing some um, sprucing up. This time of year, I always spruce up. So I had my chairs real postered. I'm getting a new backsplash. I won't get it before the holidays, though. But just some things to make yourself happy. And I'll have to, I'm going to talk to you about some other things that I'm doing around here. But for right now, I'm getting ready to eat my food, y'all. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to sign off for now and say thank you, love you. Thank y'all for tuning in. And until I decide to cook again, love you guys to Lou. Pray without ceasing. Keep those prayers going up now. Resolve those unresolved issues. Toodles.